I am so lucky to have Dan Tallin here and Carolyn Tyler from Carrots. Now, Dan, you were just telling me this is your 50th year. It is, yes. Wow, yeah, that congratulations. I, and thanks. that's the 50th year for Carrots being well, in it? No, I, 50 years of making jewelry and veil. Wow. But Carrots, I started Carrots 36 years ago. Oh my gosh, and, that's fantastic. Yeah. Now, how do you find these wonderful artists like Carolyn? Carolyn walked in the door. I cold just called like, him 20 years ago. Just like Koji. <laughs> and, and I was so impressed with her. And, and at that time, I was only showing my own work in the store. And Carolyn convinced me, well, 20 years ago, we've had trunk shows ever since. Wow. I love that you're an artist yourself that likes to, you know, expand and showcase other mm -hmm. artists. That's great. Mm -hmm. So, Carolyn, tell me a little bit about some of the jewelry that you specialize in or that you like to do. Well, I um, have a degree in anthropology and archaeology, so I have a lot of sort of Greco-Roman influence in my work. Mm -hmm. But I found that the goldsmiths in Bali, Indonesia, were still doing the kind of hand craftsmanship that all of this artifactual jewelry was um, produced by. Not, no casting, so there's no machine-made oh, wow. parts or anything, and no wax models or molds. Everything is done from scratch, so it's all one of a kind. And there just aren't very many places on the planet that are still doing this very fine detailed handwork. I mean, That's we, so we've got bench jewelers like Dan who are still hand making things, but I mean, even Dan. And not in the Balinese style. You, you do it? casting, yeah. mm -hmm. and then yeah. you do the handwork over yeah. the top, but. What it means to be hand fabricated is you just start with a lump of gold and you roll your own sheet and wire, you make your own wire. Wow. So none of that is bought or made with a mold at all. And, and it makes every single piece unique. That's yeah, right. There's no guarantee it's beautiful. Yeah, but with Carolyn's pieces, <laughs> The craftsmanship is wonderful, and her designs are beautiful. Now, and when you go into Carrots, the store is full of Carolyn's stuff. I have one showcase of my things, and that's it in there. It looks like a it's, museum. It's like, it's like if you could walk into a pirate's treasure chest. <laughs> that's right. what I like to say. That's yeah. what it's like. It's yeah. like pirate booty. Now, let me mm -hmm. ask you a little bit about the stones that you use, because I was looking at some of the colors. And, yes. You know, and then you said, you know, it's a blues you, day from today. Bali I brought and whatnot. The blues. It reminded me so much of the water. Yes. The colors in are just. In fact, there's a piece uh, on, the, on the display over there that I found an opal that an Italian woman had carved, and it looked like the big island of Hawaii, and it's, on the, it's there in the center. Wow. I called it Kilauea because at the time that I was designing the piece, the volcano was blowing up, and the lava was going into the sea. So the gold that surrounds the piece is like the lava hitting the ocean and sp the waves splashing, and it has some Paraiba tourmaline and purple sapphire in there yeah, with a detachable drop and the chain comes off and it also becomes a brooch. So one thing my jewelry is known for is being interchangeable and adaptable. So pendants can become pins and earrings can change into three different things. I love that when you can yeah. move it it's around very and utilize versatile. it in different ways. And, and it yeah. stretches Beautiful. your investment. It, it allows you to get more use out of the piece. Uh, but I want you to know that the blue that we have today is just one showcase. Yeah. There, the, every showcase is a different color. There's reds and blues and greens. I've and done it now. like the chakras. Yeah. It's all different color mm -hmm. uh, showcases as you go down, like a prism. Will you be in carrots? If because I love I will. hearing I'm your here all day for seven Carolyn days. Carolyn works yeah. really hard. Okay, so yeah. if I want to come in and you know, if I just want to look at some of your pieces, but I love the stories you tell me about you know the volcano. Yeah, and else. yeah. Every um, piece has a story. What is the easiest way to find Ca carrots? Call. If, uh, carrots is right across the street from Solaris, or diagonally across the street from the Solaris ice skating rink. And mm -hmm. next to yeah. that great restaurant, La Tour. La Tour oh, yeah. so delicious. <laughs> we eat there every day. Oh, I'm if jealous. you want to make sure that Carolyn's there when you come in, you can call for an appointment. I can make an appointment? Yeah. Four oh, I love it. 476, prefix, 476 zero. So 476-4760. With the easiest yeah. phone number in, <laughs> yeah, in, the, in the world. world. Yeah. Definitely. So go check it out. You're not gonna you're gonna love everything you find in carrots. You you're not gonna want to miss it. Thank you so much for joining us here, guys. Thank you for having us.